So, uh, so how you been? I've been good. I've been good. I, I've been good. I'm an actor, and I know how microphones <laughs> work. Uh, I've been good. How about you? Good. What's new in your life? Um, well, like you, I've lost a lot of weight. Yay! Yeah. How'd you do it? Um, Math? No, uh, Netflix and working out of the gym. Watching ne Netflix at the gym. Okay, I was going to say, because Netflix, I would say, normally know, is not right? a way to lose weight. In fact, that makes you sit on your couch. No, watching Netflix at the gym for a certain amount of time. How do? What do you watch that you can work out and like Like multiple shows in a row. It was always like watching a full movie before I stopped like on the elliptical. Oh, okay. Or maybe like two episodes. I thought you meant like while lifting. Like you're no, actually like no, doing no, no, lifting. No, 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 like elliptical. While looking like, at Daredevil. Uh, you know, I actually uh, binge watched uh, Stargate Universe again recently. Woo! Yeah, so. Oh, and sweet. Is that where I got my 10 bucks from? Yes, most likely, yes. Uh, so uh, we talked during season one. We talked during season two. We didn't talk after season two. Yes, okay. What do you think? I really loved it. Yeah. Personally, do you think Eli is still out there floating in the ether? What What do you think? And again, of course, this is this is not canon. Well, no, but but what do you think happened to Eli? The problem is that I know what the canon was going to be. Oh. Because before we finished filming, I walked up to Brad Wright and said, "Hey, just out of curiosity, what are we doing for season three? And he told me. Oh. And then when we got canceled, sad face. Um, I had all my stuff in storage in Vancouver, and I asked him if I should go get it, and he went, well, no, because we're gonna do two movies, and here are the plots of the movies. So I know all of it, and I'm not gonna tell you. But I will say this, of course Eli survives. Of Good. course Eli survives. Of, would I be happy if he didn't? No, exactly. be sad. Exactly. So how do you, uh, how do you think the fans uh, are going to take to a possible Stargate reboot? Probably the same way we all do, it's frustrating. You yeah. know? I think, look, I love the original movie. I think everybody probably does. And I'm always curious to see what people are going to do with with any property. Yeah, I think it's always frustrating when someone says that they're going to do something new and everything that you've been watching for years is not going to be part of it anymore. Yeah. But I'll still watch it. I mean, heck, I saw Batman versus Superman yesterday, even though I heard about it. I saw it on Tuesday. What did you think? I liked Ben Affleck. Batman was good. The rest of it, you can read my review at Comics Online for further information. I will be having a podcast soon with my friends John and Brian where we do spoiler alert and we will be talking about it because I. Meh. I don't often dislike movies because I like popcorn and I like entertainment. Yeah. But the story has to be cohesive. I don't know if the popcorn was worth it this yeah. time. Yeah. I just felt like it was an incohesive. It was ten story. different. Excuse me. It was ten different movies at the same time. Yeah. It was a bit much. <coughs> I think the cast was fun. Yeah. I like I like Gal Gadot. She's yeah. cool. Yeah. So how are you? Yeah. Okay, fine. We won't talk about that anymore. Um, well, I would like to be in a future no. one. Yes. So. Future future movie or any, future Batman versus uh, anything, what, what? any of them. Any if you of could them. be a superhero, whether it's been done before or hasn't been done yet, who would you want to be? That's a tough one because I, when I look in the mirror, I still have the body dysmorphia to not think that I ever am going to look like one. Um, I never thought that there was a superhero that I could play, but then I was lucky enough to audition for Barry Allen. Oh, yeah? For the Flash TV show. You would have made a good Barry Allen. Thank you. I could see that. For a minute there, I kind of, my friends convinced me and I convinced myself that maybe I could be Flash. But now I have, like, my friend Chris Gorham voices it in Justice League, the I animated thing. I just things. interviewed him. Is he actually. here? Where's he? Where uh, he's at the Justice League versus Teen uh, Titans interviews right well, You were now. texting earlier, but I was like, uh, there's no way we're actually going to cross over. Um, I don't know. What, what superhero could I be? What superhero could I play? Hmm. I don't know who I look like. That's the problem. I mean, I got the size now for Barry Allen, but. I don't know what I could be. I used to be able That's to play a the very blob, good question. but <laughs> so I don't know. so. How did you lose your weight? Uh, incredible hard work and diet. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to kind of really work on my nutrition and and get up. I mean, I've always yo-yoed my whole life, but during Stargate, I wanted to lose weight, so I just got back into the gym and started trying to eat healthier. Yeah, that was pretty much the same thing for me too. Yeah, so. it's hard because people say like, "How did you lose weight? What's your secret?" And you want to tell them like one trick, but it's yeah. like make a commitment, eat really healthy, and stick to it. Well, it's funny. You had the same reaction most people have when I say, oh, yeah, I watch Netflix. And then it's like, wait, what? So, yeah. you know, but it's, again, it's getting in a routine and finding something that works for you, and everyone's different. But And also realizing what fitness is. It drives me crazy at the gym when people are, like, talking on their phone on the treadmill, and I'm like, you're not burning anything. You're just literally doing this. I work yeah. out so hard that I, my Instagram, you could probably see, I sweat so hard. I couldn't watch something while doing it. 
because I have a horrible metabolism, I have to work out hard or I'll just gain weight. That being said, I just ate a giant short rib mac and cheese, grilled cheese with We're bacon. at a convention. It's yeah. okay. Not a lot of health food about. Are you kidding? Everywhere is health food at WonderCon. I haven't seen a carrot since I got here. Probably won't. Yeah. So let's let's go back and talk about season two briefly. Yes, let's. What was your favorite moment that you got to film or behind the scenes? What what stands out to you from Stargate Universe? Uh, my favorite moment, weirdly, and it's not in in retrospect that I'm even more fond of it. The final the final shot that we shot was all of us. Spoiler alert. Uh, kind of having a last meal before going into stasis. That was the final shot of the show. We didn't know it would be the final shot of the show, but we would. We knew it would be of the season. So we're all kind of sitting around, and it felt like this kind of closure amongst us, all of us as friends, having one last meal. So in retrospect, it's become one of my favorites, because it was like our last meal. Like, we, a lot of us have stayed friends, yeah. but it kind of was our goodbye. Um, selfishly? I had fun in all of it, man. Yeah. Anything on location, anything... It was a fun character to play. I would play it again in a heartbeat. It just... I kind of have fond memories of all of them. Is that weird? No. This was a all. cool one, though. It's a fantastic shot. That was a fun one. Uh, that was actually a really fun one. Staring at a green screen, at an X on a green screen. But it looks pretty at the end. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? I mean, that's not a green screen. They have green screens in space? Look at that. That's such a pretty shot. I'll zoom in digitally it's later not on. Photoshopped at all. No, not at all. So what are you working on now? Um, I have a movie coming out this year, next year. I'm actually not sure. Sometime the trailer soon. will be coming out actually, hopefully next week. It's called The Concessionaires Must Die. Okay. Very cool, fun, indie, quirky comedy. A couple of guest stars I can't talk about. Okay. I uh, did an episode of a web series called Stalking LeVar, an episode of a new web series called Totally Megan, and writing and producing a few things of my own. Cool. Yeah. And then hopefully some Marvel audition soon. Someday soon. Someday. Some character. Hashtag David Blue, some character. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't care. Just something. Just something. You could be someone Please. on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Anything. You could Anything. be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I would love to be an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Anything. I'll play Ming Na's backpack. I don't care. You could do that now, too. Just, I think I would break Ming Na. I don't know. She's here somewhere today. She's, she's... Let's let, get her over here, and I'll see if I can crawl on her back. That would make for some really entertaining video content. And or assault charges. Are you guys still friends? Yeah, we are. We we're actually cool. texting. Okay. I'm trying to get her to come over here. I just I think you should busy. text her right now and say, I will be your backpack. I'm pretty sure she'll delete my phone number yeah, if I do that. Uh, might, be, might be worth it, kind of? No. No, okay. No. Anyway. 